for those who don't know, we're here at the Queen Victoria Inn. There you go, there's a sign. That's the outside of the pub. And if it looks familiar, should do, because it's about the 12th time we have been here uh, on the Pre-Pretty Folk Festival. So, uh, as you can see, I thought I should be a bit of the Morris dancing, because we don't see that that often at all. So they're giving it their best they can. So. A bit of Morris dancing before we start playing some folk music. Nothing could be better. And just to show you where we are, we're hidden away by the back there, it's a bit dark, that's where we're playing. But again, leave you with the Morris dancers. I do hope there's no knives and forks involved that can end up in a bloody mess if that starts happening around. We're a long way from hospital here, aren't we? We're a long way from hospital, but I like to hear, I think I'm at an age now, I need to move to pretty. It's just don't know what, you don't think no one you're getting up to here. I think Mark and the gang have a great time. Nobody knows who they are in the vendors. There's all the secrets. All those holiday makers come in every year, but you know. We have a type of medicine here that she needs. Oh yeah. Comes from the pub. Basically, that's your medicine that you need. Yeah, that's your medicine. Yeah. Or a homemade yeah, pie. They're obviously all very ill on the wall over there. There's a lot of them seem to be drinking this stuff, so yeah, yeah. it must be very poor. Is there a coffee that wall? That stone wall is nice and warm from the heat of the day of sun. So it acts like a little radiator, so you're, you're not, you don't feel it cold. But trust me, ladies, if you're feeling a bit chilly, the wall over there is your natural hot water bottle. Until it goes, until the sun goes down, then you've lost it. But well, then you need your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. 